2024. So on June 9th, we have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, moving out of his rulership in Aries energy for Taurus energy. So let's talk about it. First of all, Mars in his rulership, he began a brand new cycle. And of course, we wanted to take action and make moves in ways that the universe did not allow us to do. We had a lot of change, a lot of transformation that needed to happen in our inner realm. That Aries energy, again, is the new spark, new fire, new flame, new life force energy that gets resurrected, reborn, and rebirthed after Mars, again, or any other planet, moves out of the Pisces energy. Mars in Aries energy, unfortunately, created a lot of anger. A lot of frustration, a lot of agitation, a lot of restlessness, a lot of animosity. And of course, that underlying anger just kind of rose up in every single situation, conversation and circumstance that we could possibly find ourselves in. And because we had ants in our pants and because we had a lot of pent up energy, pent up aggression, we really weren't as productive and constructive with that energy as many of us were hoping for. Now, again, there was a little bit of impulsivity with that Aries energy, a lot of urgency, a lot of just wanting to take action willy nilly type of thing, a lot of scattered energy that really didn't work for us. That is where Mars and Taurus energy is going to help us out. Now, heads up, if you want to know where Mars in this Taurus energy is going to be influencing your life the most, I would recommend that you download your Zodiac forecast for the month of June. Of course, if you have your Gemini season e-guide available, you can flip to this particular section in the workbook. That's going to help you kind of identify how some of these energies are going to manifest as well. There are a lot of information, a lot of resources out there in order for you to understand how Mars is going to impact you moving into this Taurus energy. I also want to rewind you to Taurus season. So you know how everything was low and slow and steady and we really felt like we were stuck and we weren't really moving fast, but yet there was this stubbornness that we kind of tapped into where we weren't willing to make changes and we weren't willing to kind of deviate off the path that we thought we should be walking. It was very heavy energy. That's what we get when we're in an earth sign such as Taurus. Now, let me also remind you, Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, the feminine divine energy, she rules over Taurus energy. Mars is the masculine divine energy, which means that he's technically setting up shop in Venus's home for these next couple of weeks. So first of all, we're going to see that impulsivity, that restlessness, that agitation, that anger subside just a bit. We're going to be grounding things out here in this Taurus energy and in typical Taurus energy, things are going to kind of slow down a tad where physical energy is concerned. Now, that isn't going to be a bad thing. It's not going to be just like Taurus season because, of course, we're in Gemini season right now. We have a stellium in Gemini energy. There's a lot of information really bouncing around in our headspace. There's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of overanalyzing. Now, Mars moving into Taurus energy, first of all, it's going to feel very abrupt, like we're hitting a brick wall. We're going to need a couple of days to kind of, you know, adjust to these particular energies because the Taurus energy needs us to kind of stand still in order for us to take a good look around is what has changed, what needs to change. It's kind of getting the lay of the land, so to speak. And then what happens is that we have to kind of connect to our five senses, to the physical body, listen to the information coming in from some of the, let's call it thoughts, ideas, potential options that we're currently percolating on in our headspace. What Mars and Taurus energy is going to do for us is, first of all, ground us out, give us an opportunity to kind of take a lay of the land and then execute steps forward in a very, let's call it slow, steady, stable way, but very firm way as well. What do I mean by that? Well, if Mars in Aries energy was doing the cha-cha-cha, one step forward, two steps back, two steps forward, one step back, Mars in Taurus energy, we're playing like, uh, what's that game where you take one step towards the leader, green light, green light go or red light go, whatever that game was, 
hopefully out there, you know what I'm talking about, where you take one step forward and then you stand there. That's what this energy is going to be. Mars in this Taurus energy, we're not messing around. We are hell bent damn well and determined. Yes, we're stubborn, but sometimes stubborn is going to work for us. Why? Because we just got illuminated to different options, different information that's going to change the course of the path and that we thought we were going to be walking. And again, we're still not absolutely clear on the choice points, the decision points, the path, the direction that we will be walking. We won't have that clarity until Gemini season comes to pass. Um, but Mars in this Taurus energy, like we're not, we're not moving. We're not swaying it, it, unless we are being gifted with some good information, some good reasons to kind of abandon the path in which we're walking. We're not moving. And that stubbornness can definitely work for us. It could definitely work against us too. But, you know, in true Taurus energy, we're digging in our heels, right? We're ready to persevere. We're going to see our goals, our visions through. We do the best in this Taurus energy when we're fighting, protecting, and defending our goals, our visions, our values. Now, I know that doesn't sound very fun because we just don't have the energy to fight at this particular point. However, in the Aries energy, something got triggered and activated that made us very passionate about seeing something through. We haven't been able to actually take action in the physical realm, which Mars in Taurus is going to allow us to do. And so it's going to be, again, a slow, steady pace, and we may not actually see as much progress or productivity once we kind of see this transit come to an end as we thought we were going to do, but the steps that we are going to make through this particular transit are going to be stable enough that we're not going to have to backtrack. This is us using our patience. This is us executing a plan. This is us kind of continuing to persevere, even though we're going to encounter challenges and obstacles, especially as we kind of pivot into a new path. The Taurus energy has us focused on the long-term outcome, right? So it's almost like we're willing to make short-term sacrifices for the long-term success of the goal of the vision that we're looking to actually fight for in being able to manifest that, being able to accomplish that, being able to arrive at the point that again, we start manifesting some of the aspects and elements that right now, we only have a vision, a goal, a dream of in our mental plane. So, this particular energy going to be a slow start. OK, so, you know, another pause energy that people aren't so happy go lucky with. But it's going to offer a little bit more of a I'm going to call it stable energy to work with, because, again, with all of this Gemini energy that is built up in the cosmos right now, we're off and on back and forth, up and down. You know, it's very bipolar ish, if you will. We're manic one mo moment. We're exhausted the next we're depressed and then we're happy and then we're depressed again. We're all over the place. And so Taurus energy kind of being, you know, introduced at this time is going to stabilize us, especially in our physical energy, right? The actions that we're going to take are going to be well executed, slow, steady progress. The passion, the inspiration that we are kind of needing to continue to cultivate at this time needs to happen in order for us to see these long-term goals and visions through. So it's almost as if we're, we're moving into a more methodical execution of some of the plans that we're currently trying to piece together. We are kind of more reliant on just sticking to what is tried, tested, and true, although improvements can be made. Like we're not resistant fully to those changes. However, in a fixed earth sign, yep, change is definitely not the name of the game here in this Taurus energy. We'll let all of the other placements in the Gemini energy be the change, the flexibility, the adaptability needed while Mars is going to continue to take one step, putting one foot in front of the other in this Taurus energy. So of course we are working towards making life better. We want safety. We want security. We want to obtain certain materialistic possessions. We want to stabilize our relationship dynamic. We want to actually be building towards a happier vision of our realm and reality than what it is that we're currently sitting in. We want 
those long lasting results. And we're willing to do the uncomfortable things here in this present moment if it means actually manifesting that long-term vision and goal. We are not likely to be taking very many risks. You know, this fixed earth energy, she don't mess around. Taurus energy, we don't take risks. We stick to, you know, using our intellect and using our sensory system in order to navigate what feels best for us. And a lot of times, risks are not something that feels good to our central nervous system. Now, one thing that I will say is that this Taurus energy, because it's so sensual, because it's so connected to the physical body and Mars just being a warrior type of energy, um, we're definitely going to find a lot more comfort and pleasure in the physical realm of creature comforts, meaning uh, we could have very strong cravings for food and we could overindulge in that food. That's a creature comfort. We could find so much comfort in being comfortable, maybe bath or massage or just, you know, hanging around on the couch, that maybe we actually kind of move into that con area where it's such a low, slow, steady pace that nothing happens. So again, we have to be very cautiously aware of the extremes that we take this earth energy into. One thing that we do have going for us is that we are hell-bent, damn well, and determined to see something through. Regardless of exhaustion, regardless of distraction, we have our mind set on something, and we have the stamina in order to actually see it through. So that's going to work for us in a lot of beautiful ways. Now, let me also just kind of give you the bigger, broader picture here. Um, we, in this Taurus energy, are setting the initial steps of this new foundation down into reality because when Mars shifts into Gemini energy, which he will, you know, into July here, the tail end of July, um, that's when we're going to be kind of divided between a crossroads point, let's say. So if we were with Mars and Aries energy just being downloaded with a new passion project, new goal, new vision, new dream, we are essentially initiating the new foundation here in the Taurus energy before we meet a crossroads point where different choices, different options are going to present themselves to further the path that we are either going to continue or pivot on when Mars actually moves into that Gemini energy. So we have to be just very aware of what these particular transits lend us in this present moment, but also understanding what the next stage of the action plan would actually be. And Mars moving into Gemini energy, again, very aggressive thoughts, aggressive, extreme, dualistic, polarized options, uh, pivot points, overwhelming information, either pushing us further on the path that we are currently trying to initiate in this Taurus energy or pivot us off this path altogether. So it is good to kind of get nose to the grindstone. We have a certain amount of work that needs to be done in order to initiate this new path, this new direction. And Mars in this Taurus energy is definitely going to get us there. 